what's going on you guys so check it right with october 21st around the corner aries decided to treat us to a track which could possibly be on paradise 2 and it's titled ving ramas who is a well-known actor who starred in baby boy alongside tyrese gibson now with this track it really felt as if reese was talking his shit on this one i mean with lines like they're trying to put baby boy in a chokehold like ving ramas it's clear that reese feels like the game or certain individuals within it are trying to put him in a chokehold just like how ving ramas put tyrese in a chokehold like how we did in baby boy now with these lines i still get the feeling that reese still feels like everybody hates reese and I'm not surprised because he does receive a lot of criticism and scrutiny from fans and critics alike and I'm sure it's the same behind the scenes with some of his peers but anyways Reese still goes on to say can't f with none of y'all niggas I don't even understand why they keep acting like they're cool with us now I don't know about you guys but I honestly feel like Reese was addressing the YOG himself Lucas Raps now last year we saw Reese proclaimed to be the best rapper in Africa and none of his peers really pushed back on that statement from him except one individual being Lucas Raps who addressed Reese and his comments with a track of his own titled Best Rapper in Africa on the Pick You Up Beats by Ricky Rick which features Reese. Fast forward a few months later and he made an appearance on the Everything SA Music podcast and addressed Reese once again. So tell me dog, like... <laughs> The whole thing, when you saw Aries say that he's the... What did he say? He's he said biggest, he's the best rapper in Africa. Did you did you think that he doesn't deserve to say that? And you thought that, okay, let me show you that I'm also in that league. Or we can be in... I a, mean, we can be nominated together. He can feel like he's the best rapper in Africa. Yeah. But I'm in Africa. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like I'm the best rapper too. Mm. It's just that mm. the way the game is built, mm. nigga, Reese knows the way the game is built. Yeah. So, I right, fuck it. I'm going to do what every fucking rapper is scared to do. Mm. And fucking put my foot there and be like, yo, but chief, you do know that there's niggas out here. I might be, I might not be the best. Mm. The nigga behind me could be the best. Mm. That's not what I'm going to tell you. Yo, people, there's niggas. Don't, don't thank you. Yeah. The best. You also have to another level you have to get to. Mm. For us as the niggas that looked up to you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Sure. We still have to take it that side. Mm. You haven't taken it there. Mm. We almost there by you saying what's going on. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So for me it's just like it was a it, it was a thing of now as a rapper, I can't let that slide. Yeah. We also know like Reese. Dog, drop more. Mm. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, stop getting high and staying in that house. No, nah, you can do all <laughs> of that, dog. But like, just be outside, be active. Like, yeah, like be, be active a Reese, nigga, Enjoy yeah. being a Reese. What the fuck? Yeah, you You're got a it, Reese, nigga. Dog. You fucking got it. Like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Like, enjoy it. Like, maybe you are, and I'm not. Mm. You know, as a person, we all year outside. You know, mm. what I'm saying? maybe I don't know. Mm. But like. Sometimes I just felt like, nah, man. There's other rappers here. Like, dog, there's niggas that can spit, dog. Mm, that's for sure. There's niggas that can fucking spit, bro. Yeah, and, we, and I have to commend you on that, dog. Because niggas are just too little. Like, there's ah, nothing scared, going you know? on, dog. Like, yeah, they're not rappers also, like, also, if imagine if, not in a bad way, but imagine if Reese is the best rapper. That is, like, unfair, dog. Because Reese has been like killing the shit with nasty since then. Since yeah, right. Hip hop was since a we're in high school, bro. So, when are you gonna give the new niggas a chance to also like kill it? We in a whole new time. Like Casper's still killing it the same way, be like them before. It's like, yo, niggas, we peep the game. Like, yo, niggas. Now, fast forward to this year, and he was caught being a fan towards Reese during his performance, literally rapping me while in Honeydew, word for word bar for bar so i can imagine that reese perceives the situation as weird because it wasn't so long ago that you were coming for me but now you're trying to act cool with me as well so yeah definitely some shots at lucas now reese also goes on to say i never play by the rules nigga i don't even care who with him we still stepping right through niggas ain't shit changed they two-faced while touche 
Now I've been told I'm reaching, but when Reese says I don't even care who with him, the only name that comes to mind is Nancy because we've seen individuals like Flame and Mash Beats work alongside him, and we all know that they were really close with Reese at some point in time, but he doesn't care as he views them being two faced. Now with Nasty being the biggest rapper in the country, Reese acknowledges that his former crew members working alongside him is a smart move on their side, despite it being at his own expense by him him saying touche but moving along reese also goes on to say got rich off mixtapes bossed up y'all bitch made on the road with bros nigga we don't switch teams we switch lanes and get paid now we all know that reese has multiple tapes and eps and for the most part his catalog stays charting especially on apple music so it wouldn't be unbelievable to imagine that he's gotten rich off his projects especially when he's someone who advocates for getting your business affairs in order allowing for your music to earn the most money it can for you and he's been able to do so i mean he just started his own record label with revenge club records alongside jody and tk and he bossed up as he mentions starting from a young artist who was almost screwed over by a label to actually being an owner of one so those are big moves by him now he also mentions being on the road with these brothers and that they don't switch teams which feels like another shot towards his former crew members once again and lastly reese makes mention of feeling like cj from gta san andreas with his tank top and blue jeans on and he's so hood like t-pain which is a reference to the dj colored song which features him now overall the track is all right in my opinion i mean we've seen reese perform a lot better than this but as i said he was talking his shit on this one so i guess he did make up for it there i did feel as if it was too short of a track with it only being a minute and 22 seconds so if it is part of Paradise 2, then hopefully it is just an interlude, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. I did notice that it isn't getting the best of receptions on social media, with some people saying they wasted their thought of listening to it, that Reese is taking his fans for a piss, that they have doubts about Paradise 2, that Reese needs to respect us as fans, and a lot more. But you guys let me know your thoughts on this. Did you enjoy the track, or did you feel the same way as those listeners? Also, let me know if you think Reese was taking shots at the artist I mentioned or was I reaching? Comment down below. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to hit that like button if you found the content dope and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It's on to the next one. Peace.